One phenomenal book that I've read and actually have reviewed that book on these episodes is a book called Think Again by an author who is a scientist, psychologist actually. He's called Adam Grant. He's a professor. Adam Grant is a phenomenal in this subject of thinking. And one of the things he says is that don't follow people because you agree with what they think. Huh? He says, follow them because you are intrigued by how they think and how they make you think. In fact, for me, I think that is the most important part. How they make you think. Follow them because they challenge your thinking. I mean, you sit with them and they just cross-pollinate you and you. I never saw that thing that way before. And they're always doing that. And you're also doing the same complimenting with them. Anyway, today in the episode, I want us to look at one more major advantage of thinking. And uh, I want you to stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Did you know that at the core of your friendships is thinking? Did you know that there is something to do with wavelength in terms of our thought patterns that help us to gravitate towards some people and gravitate away from others? That you find thinkers hanging around thinkers. You find people who are thinking about the same subject and in love with the same kind of a thing, same kind of reasoning and so on. They gravitate towards one another. I'm not saying that we should be friends with everyone else. We have different ways of thinking, different wavelengths of thinking and so on and so forth. But let me tell you, the basis of friendships, in my thoughts, in my estimation, the basis of friendships is how we think, how we look at things, how we interpret things, what kind of value systems we have, what kind of belief systems we have, what kind of passion we have. It forms our friendships. In the episodes, we're discussing the advantages of thinking. And we've said that at times people think that they think and yet at the end of the day they don't just think. They are just going through life. We're saying that the kind of thinking that is worth a note is the deliberate intentional thinking where you set aside some time and decide that in this moment, in this season of time, I am going to sit down and consider. I'm going to sit down and review. I'm going to sit down and look at possibilities. I'm going to extrapolate. I'm going to mind map. I'm going to brainstorm. I'm going to mind storm. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to think. At the end of the day, this is work. The real work is in thinking. Seriously. In fact, even the brain knows that. The more you think, the more the discomfort there is, and the more air it uses, the more water it uses, and so on. The real work is to think, and the real productivity is in thinking. And there are different advantages to thinking. Six of them that I'm going to curate for you. In fact, I've been talking about very many advantages of thinking and so on, but I'm just going to analyze six of them. First, I do believe that when you set aside some time to think, you are going to discover what your purpose is because purpose is something that is already inside of you. It's not something that is outside of you. You discover your purpose through thinking and there's no way that purpose discovery is going to be done arbitrarily. It comes through engaging of your thoughts. Start by making a decision and then follow up by making an inquiry. You do this by engaging your mind. That's the first advantage of thinking. 
In fact, thinking long helps you to find out what your purpose is. The second reason as to why thinking long is important is that it helps you to zero in on what really matters because there's so much that you can be able to do in a day. The third reason as to why thinking is thinking long is important is because it helps to get your head above the mundane details of the day so that you can focus on the big picture. Okay, the third reason as to why this is important, the fourth reason as to why it's important is because it helps you to focus your energy because without thinking, you are all over the place. Thinking helps you to have focus on the things that you're supposed to focus on and therefore you get momentum, you get flow and that gives you success because momentum is the life blood of success. The fifth reason as to why thinking long is important it is because it's going to help you to maximize your potential. No potential is ever going to be maximized if someone doesn't take time to think. You might be as gifted as anyone, but if you're not going to take some time to engage the mind to think about that potential, to think about that gift and that talent, and to put it into perspective, it is not going to be maximized. But today, I want us to look at one interesting aspect of thinking and why it's important to us. Thinking, number six, it helps you to connect with other big dreamers and thinkers and visionaries. What intrigues big-time thinkers, even your mentors, is the level of your thinking. In fact, if you wanted to change the circles of people and bring in quality people into your life, the, the secret is not you trying to appease yourself to them. The secret is you going back to the drawing board and upping the game in terms of your thinking capacity. You start thinking deep thoughts, you start thinking deliberately, you start thinking consistently, you start continuing in that environment where you're having a higher wavelength of thoughts. You're thinking productivity, you're thinking potential, you're thinking, you're planning, you're brainstorming, you're mindstorming. Soon enough, you start attracting the kind of people who are in the same wavelength of your thought patterns. So if you wanted to get into someone's circle and they are in a higher thought pattern than yourself, what do you do? You start thinking highly. You start deliberately, consistently, continuously getting deep kind of thoughts. Let me tell you something. You might have access to the big dreamer. You might have access to them maybe through whatever method and so on. That is not the problem. The problem is can you sustain the access? Can you sustain the relationship? And relationships are never sustained beyond the level of thought. If I am in a relationship with someone and I think that they are not thinkers or they are not in the same wavelength as me, it it is so awkward to start thinking like them. It's so awkward to stay with them. We are only obligated to be in relationships like maybe relatives, family and so on, but acquaintances, other people in life, who are in a lower wavelength of thinking, they are not thinking, they are not using their brains a lot, we are not obligated to be in relationship with them. So in life, if you wanted to have high class networks, huge networks, start thinking long, start thinking deep, start thinking continuously and consistently, start exercising your thought patterns. And the more you do this, the more you get into relationships and networks of people of the same like. They say that birds of a feather, they flock together, they twitch together, so to speak. That's the point. If you wanted your life to change, you're going to start appeasing people, you know, trying, trying to do something so that you can get their attention. No, you just change the way you think. Just change your thought patterns. Think deeper, think longer, think intriguing thoughts, think deeper thoughts. And before you know it, people start noticing how you speak because thoughts at the end of the day are going to escape your mind and your mouth and they're going to become words and sentences and paragraphs and values and belief systems and dreams and aspirations and visions. And at the end of the day, when that happens, people get attracted to you or you attract the kind of right people into your life. So today is short. If you wanted to improve your life in terms of your networks, people who are going to be dreamers and visionaries into your life, change. 
your thinking. We're going to continue talking about the power of thinking long and the importance of thinking long. In fact, right now we're going to start talking about how you can start thinking long. But until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.